Hey guys, I'd like to talk a little bit about one of the shots I animated for Klaus and show you what was my thought process and some of the techniques behind it. This is the shot that we're going to be looking at today. You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... So before going into more technical details, I'd like to talk a little bit about the first step I go through when I'm animating a shot. The first thing that I have to focus on are the storytelling keyframes. Storytelling keyframes, more than being technical keyframes, are the drawings that tell the story of a shot. These drawings are the essential part to communicate the intention of a shot. In this specific uh, shot we're going to take a look at today, these are the drawings that I used. You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into you are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into so usually when starting a shot i pick one pose where i will build the whole shot around in this case i picked this keyframe because it is the first time in this shot that alva looks up to jasper and i really wanted this moment to tell who alva is and how is her relationship with jasper so before i start to make the first drawing I want to make sure I know who the character is and how she is feeling emotionally. So in this specific shot, Alva is going through a tough moment in her life. She feels frustrated and tired and she acts towards Jasper in a very dismissive, abrasive and sarcastic way. She should also show good skills as a fisherwoman to show that she has been doing this for a while. But we should also consider her background story. Where is she from? So. Alva used to be a teacher and I like to think she came from a middle upper class where she never really had to work a heavy labor job and therefore she would still have very delicate gestures. So when you see a pose like this, it's not just a random drawing. Hopefully we can encapsulate all of these elements we know about the character in this one storytelling key. Personally, I think doing this homework before starting to draw is the best way to make sure the character isn't going to act in a flat way and instead will be a layered character with nuances and different ingredients. Let's take a look at the shot again and this time notice all the different aspects coming together through the performance. You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... Hopefully it is communicating to the audience who and where the character is at the moment. Besides, of course, telling the main story points of the shot. On a more technical side, I always keep in mind clarity. I try to make sure the pose reads instantly. One of the tools we can use to help with clarity is, of course, silhouette. The pose and the action should always read as much as possible in silhouette. So when I was drawing this pose, I was trying to make sure the silhouette was reading very clearly. As you can see, the knife shape is very clear, as well as the pinky finger. And because it's a frontal drawing, I tried to make sure the division between hair and shoulders was as clear as possible, even if I slightly change the shape of the hair from the model sheet. Also, I tried to make sure the elbows and arms were clear in silhouette, as well as I tried to inform the hips position with some negative space between the arms and the hips. So let's press play and take a look at the silhouette on a few keyframes in a row. Notice how these elements are still present in all these main keyframes. Also, because it moves so fast, I paid special attention to the tip of the knife and make sure that it always reads very clearly. So now let's look at all the frames of at least half of the shot. And the main point here is that when the audience sees the shot, it can read instantly. They are not going to be confused or find some posing a bit ambiguous. And once again, let's take a final look at the shot and let's keep in mind the performance, who is the character, where is she at the moment, and the clarity of the poses in action. You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... You are the latest mailman and the ferryman tricks you into... On the next video, I'll talk a little bit more about the arcs, the timing and spacing on this specific shot. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching.